In 2019, China completed a massive 1,800 kilometer railway, stretching from the coal rich deserts of Inner Mongolia to the industrial heartlands of the south. At $27 billion, the Haoji Railway was supposed to revolutionize freight transport. It cuts delivery times from 20 days to just one, saving billions. But just as this mega project was completed, something changed. Since its launch, demand for coal has started to shrink. China is moving toward clean energy, and experts now warn that the Haoji Railway could become one of the country's most expensive stranded assets. Did China just build its most expensive mistake? Let's find out. China runs on coal more than any other country in the world. Every year, the nation digs up 3.9 billion tons of it to power cities, factories, and industries. But there's a problem. Most of this coal isn't where it's needed. The coal fields lie in the north, deep in Inner Mongolia and Shangxi, while the factories and power plants depend on it thousands of kilometers away in the south in provinces like Jiangxi, Hubei, and Guangdong. For decades, getting coal from north to south was slow, expensive, and inefficient. The only real option? A multi-step process involving rail, maritime, and river transport, taking 20 days to deliver their loads. That's three weeks just to move one shipment in an economy that runs on speed. China needed a faster solution. That's why they built the Haoji Railway, a 1,800-kilometer freight superhighway designed to cut the journey from 20 days to just one to three days. To create a fast and efficient transport corridor, engineers had to cut through mountains, cross deserts, and span some of China's largest rivers. The scale is unmatched. 229 tunnels, including some over 11 kilometers long. 770 bridges, covering 381 kilometers in total. Two major river crossings, including the 5.2 kilometer Hanjiang River Bridge. The real challenge? Much of the terrain was unstable. The Mu Us Desert, for example, has shifting sands that can swallow railway tracks whole. To counter this, engineers built a raised rail system, keeping the tracks from sinking into the sand. But the price tag was steep. The Haoji Railway cost nearly twice as much per kilometer as China's famous Qinghai Tibet Railway. Yet, despite the incredible effort to build this mega project, its biggest test would come after construction was completed. For decades, coal fueled China's rise as an economic powerhouse. But now, the country is undergoing one of the biggest energy transitions in history. In 2024 alone, China added 78% more solar and wind power. Coal's share in China's energy mix is shrinking every year. By 2030, China wants clean energy to dominate its grid. This is great for the environment, but terrible news for the Haoji Railway, which was built almost entirely to transport coal. If the demand for coal plummets, what happens to this railway? The problem is China still relies heavily on coal to avoid blackouts. While the transition to renewables is accelerating, the country can't afford to abandon coal overnight. But long term, the writing is on the wall. China is moving away from coal and the Haoji Railway may have to adapt or risk becoming obsolete. Even as China continues to rely on coal, the Haoji Railway isn't performing as expected. It was designed to move 200 million tons of coal per year and make freight logistics faster and cheaper. But almost five years after opening, the railway isn't living up to expectations. In 2020, it transported only 60 million tons, and this year, it's only expected to transport 57 million. Since launching, the Haoji Railway has carried over 1,600 high-capacity freight trains, but that's still not enough. The railway has struggled with unreliable train schedules, making it difficult for businesses to plan shipments. During peak demand periods, there aren't enough trains available, causing delays and bottlenecks. One major flaw is that the Haoji Railway uses special C96 freight cars, which don't match China's standard C70 models. This makes transferring cargo expensive and inefficient, like trying to mix two puzzle pieces that don't fit. Even though the railway was built to cut transportation costs, it's actually more expensive than expected. Haoji Railway's base freight rate is 22% higher than the national average. Some coal routes are still cheaper by sea, making rail transport less attractive. 
Then there's a cargo damage issue. Around 5% of shipments get damaged in transit, which is double the usual rate for rail freight. For businesses, that's a big financial risk, leading many to choose trucks instead. If the railway can't operate smoothly, it won't be able to compete, even in a market where coal is still in demand. China spent $27 billion to build one of the longest and most advanced freight railways in the world. The Haoji Railway was designed to revolutionize coal transport, moving 200 million tons per year and cutting shipping times from 20 days to just three. But almost five years after launch, it's nowhere near meeting expectations. Instead of hauling millions of tons of coal, it's moving far less than planned. In its first month of operation, the railway averaged just 35,000 tons per day, and by 2025, it's only projected to carry 57 million tons per year, less than 30% of its intended capacity. A railway designed to transform China's freight system isn't being fully used, and the question remains, why? The answer comes down to a changing energy landscape. When Haoji was first conceived, coal was China's dominant energy source. The country was expanding its infrastructure to keep up with demand. But by the time the railway opened, China was already shifting away from coal, investing heavily in solar, wind and clean energy. Suddenly, a railway built exclusively for coal transport was no longer as essential as originally planned. China now faces a critical decision – double down on coal transport or find a new use for the railway. One possible solution is diversifying its cargo. The Haoji Railway has 77 stations and connects to China's broader rail network, meaning it could be repurposed to transport other valuable goods, like rare earth minerals from Inner Mongolia, to tech hubs like Shenzhen or agricultural products from Henan to southern cities. Another possibility is modernizing the railway for high-speed freight transport. China has been developing the CR450 bullet train, capable of reaching 400 kilometers per hour. If similar technology could be applied to freight, it would redefine logistics in China. But there's a problem. The Haoji Railway was built for heavy coal trains, and upgrading it for high-speed cargo would cost billions more. For now, China seems committed to keeping the railway focused on coal. State-owned companies have signed 42 long-term contracts guaranteeing at least 500,000 tons of coal per year until 2030. But coal transport comes at a price. Reports indicate coal dust from trains is polluting water sources near the Muos Desert, and the heavy rail traffic is damaging fragile rock formations in Hubei. Farmers in Henan claim pollution has cut their crop yields by 15%, while others in Lushi say the railway boosted their incomes by 5,000 yen per year through new job opportunities. The Haoxi Railway was meant to be a game-changer, but instead it risks becoming one of China's most expensive stranded assets. It was built for coal, but coal demand is shrinking. It was supposed to be efficient, but logistical issues remain. It cost $27 billion, but is moving only a fraction of its planned cargo. China must now decide keep using the railway for coal despite the environmental concerns and long-term economic risks, invest even more money to repurpose it for modern freight transport. Is there a way for China to salvage this mega-project? Or is the Haoji Railway destined to struggle? Should they keep running it on coal, or should they invest in a complete transformation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into China's railway mega-projects, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more mega-build stories. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Thank you for watching it.